Because I maybe it's insecurities within myself. When you say maybe, you mean definitely. And then <laughs> I, <laughs> when you're doing the making out with girls in public. No offense. Aren't you a stripper? Yeah. <laughs> is waiting 90 days to have sex with a stripper. No oh, offense. If I find out, and I, listen, I'm, I'm no angel over here. I've been with all sorts of women, but. Yes, you've made that uh, clear. No, I'm, I'm not even, like, you I'm just saying, I, I've been with a, any end of the spectrum, as we talked yes. about. All right, no, dude, all right, all right. If I know you're a stripper and you hit me with a 90-day spiel, dude, no. Do that, you that, that's not gonna be. Just, just, can why? I just add to, why? Can I just add to the you no, give, wait, 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 wait. Why do you have less respect because my title is a stripper? Exactly. I mean, exotic. I okay, do you want to answer that own question? I want. Yeah. I don't I think. I don't think it's an issue that. of respect. Okay, but go ahead. This. How about this? Like. I'll, I'll answer it politely. Uh, many dudes will bang you. Mm -hmm. I don't know a lot of dudes that will bring you home to mom and marry you. Because you're an exotic dancer. Yes. A stripper. Yes. Why not? The way that I. That's see something it. you probably should have thought about before you got on the pole. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Tiffany. What? A mattress oh, actress. I got, go. I got something to say about the 90 day thing. So one, no man that like would actually wait 90 days when he has other options. They're going to go to other Correct. people. L let, me add, let me add one thing to this, because I think there's one aspect. And by the way, I, I think we're like, I don't know, is this a coaching strategy? Or is it like a, you know? No, it's just I, Ari yeah. is my friend, and I gotcha. want the best yeah, for well, her. And I want Ari to find an awesome dude. All right. You gotta I, I think, I think Michael you hit the nail on the head from, from like a female perspective. Uh, you know, compensation, how money basically is basically your biggest driver, and how you're tipping and all that. Now, if the type of guy you want is like a successful business guy, entrepreneur, has a company, hangs out with super successful Fortune 500 CEO type guys, all right? Like, if that's the kind of guy you want, that guy is gonna have a very hard time coping, recognizing the fact that, oh, this is my girlfriend, the stripper. That guy is gonna have a very hard time with that. I don't. I'm sorry if I'm but hurting your feelings. But at the same feelings. time, it doesn't hurt my feelings. Okay, cool. Yeah. But I'm just letting you know I, that I guy. That guy is not gonna feel comfortable. He's like, hey, mom, this is Candy, the stripper. You know. What I'm seeing today is ten years ago. If you would have told me that men would be bitch moaning and crying about Barbie, I'd be like, no, that's never gonna happen. Okay, but, but, but why are we talking about man. Barbie? Go deeper, yeah. you're a smart it's lady. It's too. Go deeper, we're not talking about we like playing with dolls, we're talking about cultural narratives and what's happening Feminism. in America. Yeah, but I, you're smart enough something. to recognize okay, that, right? The, have you seen the movie? No. So you can't even talk, yeah, what are you, why are you talking? Talk. I, cause I you, feel like But you haven't seen the movie yet. I don't care. I saw like Typical woman, if I didn't see the movie, I would shut my Mouth. Well, that's you. Okay, exactly. Okay, well, I, I because I have respect. I want to be a mom someday. What if I have a yes. son? I don't want my son being like mm -hmm. listening to all of this and oh, being treated like. Now, why do you want to be a mom, CJ? When, when Let CJ about, oh, let's CJ talk. CJ, CJ, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, mom's a I, I, why I, do you want to be a mom? I, I just do. I had a mom growing she up, so I would like to be a mom. mom. Okay. I haven't really thought about it that much. I don't feel like it's. How old are you, CJ? I'm going to be 38 in August. So what do you mean you haven't days. thought about being a mom? You're 38. Of course you've thought I about okay, it. Okay, so I have thought about being a mom. Yeah. I haven't thought that much as to why. It just okay. feels natural. At what age did um, you maternal start feeling that natural instinct? I'm not really like thinking. What age did you start to feel that natural <laughs> instinct? Honestly, probably 32. about five years ago. Why did it take so long, CJ? You're because a gorgeous Because I only girl. got sober about four and a half Los years Angeles. ago. Los Angeles. I always felt LA. like I could never uh, take care the of a house plant. Well, yeah. CJ, let, let me just say one thing. Number one, you're a hot ass big bird. That's just straight up. Without the <laughs> <laughs> Good I'm, for glad, you. I'm glad we got but, that out of the way. But I'm not picking on you because actually I'm proud of you. I don't feel you. picked on. Cool, but I haven't said what I had to say yet. <laughs> I feel like uh, I wish, I wish that you would have had that epiphany phase ten years ago. I wish I would have as well. Yeah. Thank you for so. And I think that, that it's wow. I think epiphany it's, phase. I think yeah. it's incumbent on I've you to them, tell like, more women why they should have that epiphany <clears throat> phase at 27, 26, 24, 28, you can't not tell 38. It's not too late for her. Why can't I tell anybody that? That they need she's to have fine. an epiphany? Yeah. I don't know. Really. I mean, how old are you? Yeah, but to have kids. Okay, time to have, okay. Okay. Time to have the epiphany. But to have kids, you're Can geriatric I, I after 35. Yeah. Correct. I, I want to go back. When it comes to supply and demand, and that's a basic law of economics, now you're talking my language. So Taz's Angels back in the day, it was a famous quote. I don't know if you know who that is. He said, a bad turns 18 every single day. Yes. Yeah. And the, the problem that ladies need to understand is that men get better as they get older, and unfortunately, women get worse. CJ, you're gorgeous. I'll pick on you for a second. What men are solving for is different from what the women are solving for. I am so much better at 40 than I was at 22. I was... Even though I was working out and playing football, I had no money, I was broke, I had no status, I had no network, I had no net worth, I had nothing. At 22, 
your Playboy cover, bad bitch, hot ass, big bird looking girl, doing your thing. And at <laughs> 38, I would rather have the 22 year old version of CJ. Why? Because I'd rather have a woman who doesn't, I don't care about your money. We already established you ain't paying my rent. I have to pay your rent. Facts. But isn't it because you're so I'd rather you. shush. I'd rather uh, have a beautiful young girl that I can indoctrinate to my views. Take her to Vegas for the first time. Take her to Europe for the first time. Not a girl who I've been like, hey, we're going to go to Aspen. She's like, yeah, my ex-boyfriend took me to Aspen. Wasn't that cool? It's like, oh, <laughs> no, 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 hold on, hold on. You go to all the clubs in Miami yeah. and, and you don't have to worry about getting in because she kisses all the bouncers on the right. cheek as she Red walks flag. you in the club. <laughs> yes. Yeah, like that girl? Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. Oh, we can't get in. She's like, oh, I'll just call Troy. Yeah, I, 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 like, I, know, no, I know the owner. Know. I was on his boat last yeah, week. Exactly. Really? You were on his boat? That's unattractive to a man. You guys, ladies, I'm going to say this again. Boundaries. I'm going to say this one more time. If you have any unaccompanied photos in Dubai on your IG, take those <laughs> motherfuckers. Down the same goes immediately. Shell, sure, whose attention are you looking for? Cognitive dissonance. It's almost like I just like crave like that person to want me, like because yeah. I maybe it's insecurities within myself. Hmm. When you say maybe, you mean definitely. And then <laughs> I, <laughs> when you're doing the making out with girls in public, whose attention are you looking for? Well, normally I'm actually, I don't know where, okay, so I, I have to define, are we like going towards like a relationship? Yeah, you're so in a relationship with them all. I don't know who you're okay. making out with, I don't well, know who, then, you're, okay. just, well, you're making out with random girls, why no, are you doing I, it? I would, but I was, I was unclear. By the way, keep doing it. I was unclear but if we were talking about, it? I was unclear if we were talking about more of a, if it was like a one night stand, if I liked the guy versus if I was in a relationship with the guy. He clarified saying if it was more of a relationship, if I was in a relationship, I wouldn't really go around making out with my friends. I would try, but my, it would be a fight at the end of the night, so I'm not trying to really do all that. Any of our guy friends talk like this to us, we'd be like, yo, bro, yeah. what you were delusionally you crazy. You guys are all like, yeah, witchcraft. It's like, I totally agree in making out. What the, what the fuck is yeah, this? Yeah, teach me. It's like, shut the Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like the person then, like, maybe, like, the veil comes off a little bit, and you're like, but that guy's shoes. Why does he wear the same yes. shoes maybe every single time? Maybe it's because we were just yeah. as drunk. It's, it's just because I feel like we go too fast <laughs> in the beginning. Yeah. Because and then, and then, like, you're looking at the personality. You're like, oh, this, I, this is what this no, could no, no, be. No, 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 gentlemen, no, 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 no. Th this is a message for the gentlemen. It's this is we why, especially you successful you gentlemen out there, good. you always got to have a prenup. <laughs> this bitch is going to divorce you because she don't like your <laughs> shoes all the time. Okay. No, I'm not even married to you. Now you're saying her. Are any of you ladies married in here? Are any of you ladies married? Tell these who the f would still get married? I don't know who would marry your ass. Real quick, I want to get married. Real quick, a great. None of you ladies are married. Are any of you ladies in a relationship? No. Remember, I'm a born again. So we're all taking advice from single chicks who can't keep a man. Let me give you guys a great piece of advice. I don't take advice from single women. You're not single. No. Who you? I got many Sydney. women. <laughs> you this, the per vice president. Let give this, me Madam Vice President. Give me one let second. Let this be a lesson. You'll as never why find you need love. Options as a man. <laughs> Eventually, you're gonna want to pick a good one, maybe in a mind somewhere. But when this option <gasps> starts going all Kamala Harris on you, X, cut I it off, can. done. Keep it moving because. The last thing you want is a disagreeable, aggressive, annoying, <laughs> argumentative woman. It's no, the last thing a successful so, so man wants. So, for the record, for the record, you just f***ed a homeless dude. All no, right, so I don't know what you're talking about. You tried it. You no. tried it. Why I so there. much attention on me? I intimidate you. Because you're the annoying one. Why? So I use you as an example. On me? No, Tay walked in. She she and kicked this dude out the door. Tay walked in. 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 He was just with Andrew Tay a couple weeks ago. Stop. Right. Stop. Because this whole conversation initiated with your very poignant question about like, so what's wrong with that? Like, what's wrong with the bar movie? Why are you beta men talking about this? No, no, I said, what, what, what's the panic? Right. Like, what's the panic? And what I'll you tell you, happen? and nobody's panicking here, but I'll be, I'll be very direct with you. It's been a slow <laughs> drip for years. Drip, 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 drip <laughs> of basically toxic masculinity and basically the rise of feminism. But the narrative, uh, the theme, the slogan, the future is female. How many women have heard that before? I've heard that. Okay, the future is female. Okay, so what does that mean for men? So that we don't have a future? What does that mean? So <laughs> that, that, point. All, all of a sudden, <laughs> the future point. is female has opened up the floodgates the for men for men being second class citizens mm -hmm. women running the world and this slow drip has turned into a tidal wave of basically men being simps if you want to be a fan of Andrew Tate or Rolo or Adam or Troy or Michael you're toxic and you're up and there's something wrong with you but if you start watching Barbie and you're all about the patriarchy and you're basically 
feeding into that narrative. You're a hemel. You're a boss, babe. And and it's it's basically ruining the exactly traditions that we've created of all of society, not just in America. So to answer your question, it's not a Barbie thing. It's the tidal wave that the slow drip started with that is basically seeping into America now. The That's ultimate point of what we why we do these shows <laughs> is for male improvement. To educate but, men. But to educate men because the Achilles heel for men are all you bad. Uh-huh. And all, basically, the, the, the whole premise is men focus on self improvement, make your money, stop looking around at all the shiny objects and the fake titties, and make your money and do what you got to do. And if you become that dude, then you, then you can, can have all the. Yeah, okay, I'll not just the one that disrespects you. Okay, well, I agree 100% with that. Iron sharpens iron. You should be concentrating on masculinity and building men, not teaching the nature of women, because men will never get No, but men need to No, you, you can get the nature of women. You are 100%, 100%, 100%, 100% you can learn the nature of women. The huge value of, those, of these shows, all these shows like this, is that guys, for, probably for the first time, Sort of time, really, because this is quite quite a new format. Mm-hmm. Get to hear women themselves yeah. expressing the things that they think and the things that they want. Right. And guess what? It's f- the opposite of what a lot, a lot of blue pill guys think. 